in five, four, three, two. Welcome to the Third Wind channel, where today we're going to be talking about returning characters. A great quality of the iCarly revival is how connected it is to the original, and it's always incredibly exciting to see old characters return. So in this video, I wanted to take a look at all the characters who are set to return for one or more episodes in the final six episodes of this season, and give you a little context on who they are. Let's start with someone that will be showing up in the next episode, Episode 5. He is arguably the GOAT when it comes to iCarly villains, and he's been around since 2007. Neville Pepperman is returning in the next episode. Neville needs little introduction, but here is a brief backstory for him. Neville ran a super successful website called Nevelocity.com, where he would post web reviews. When Carly doesn't please him in their first meeting, he gives iCarly a brutal review, but this backfires on him as Carly tells his mom, who forces Neville to write an honest review. In the next five years, Neville's hatred of iCarly caused him to try to bring it down several times. He would get close, but in the end, iCarly always managed. But Neville's plans were always smart and quite extensively planned. Many years later, we saw Neville again in Season 1 of The Revival, where he tried to trick Carly into marrying him. It didn't work out, but he got a happy ending with him getting married anyway. Now, Neville is back and seemingly ready for another devious plan involving deepfake technology. Typical Neville. I'm excited to see what his motivations are this time around. Is he going to try to take iCarly down still, or is he going to try to get between Carly and Freddy? We'll save those predictions for the predictions video coming very soon, tomorrow or the day after. Moving on, another character which we can easily spot in the trailer for this season of iCarly is a smaller but quite interesting character to bring back, Shane. Shane in the original appears in the season 2 episode I Saw Him First, and he is friends with Freddy due to their AV Club connection. The big catch, Shane is very good looking, and when Carly and Sam learn of who Freddy is friends with, they fight for Shane's attention. While he finds this amusing at first, it quickly becomes overwhelming and eventually becomes too much, which causes him to flee from the iCarly studio and straight down the elevator shaft. That day, the elevator was out of service and he fell several stories and nearly died. He gets a little goodbye kiss, but after that we never see him again. That is, until now. It seems that Shane switched passions in life from AV to PE. It looks like he never left Ridgeway and that he's now the gym teacher. Those injuries and time out of school probably changed Shane's life forever, and he probably blamed the iCarly gang for indirectly causing that to happen. My guess? The future episode which Shane features, he will want some sweet revenge for what they did to him. Should be a lot of fun. Next, another character from the original set to return this season and a personal favorite of mine, Principal Franklin. Now this is a big one. In fact, Principal Franklin is the very first person on screen in the original pilot. Pretty cool, but here's a little bit about him. Principal Franklin was the likable and fair principal of Ridgeway High, a voice of reason if you will. He stood as an equalizer between the overly harsh Briggs and Howard and the at times out of control students. They say a good leader knows when to break the rules, and Principal Franklin was a good leader. When Gibby started an underground restaurant in the school, which is technically forbidden, instead of immediately shutting it down, he celebrates the creativity and quality of what Gibby has accomplished. Principal Franklin also has two kids who are huge fans of iCarly, and as a result, developed a close relationship with our iCarly gang. So much so that in one episode of The Revival, he's seen celebrating Carly's birthday amongst others. Now, as to how he'll work his way into this season, I really don't know, I'm just happy to see him star again. My best guess will be that he will appear in the same episode as Shane, as that episode seems to be focused on the school. But at the same time, Principal Franklin is retired now. Now, those are all guest stars I can easily wrap my head around, but now we're going to be heading into some pretty unexpected ones. Get those memories worrying because this is going to be for the super fans of the original. Let's start with someone who starred in the now famous I Speed Date episode, Magic Malika. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if that isn't ringing any bells, but I do love that they're bringing back even the smallest of characters. As the name suggests, Malika is obsessed with magic, pulling off some tricks that I don't think anyone could explain. 
I think her claim to fame in the iCarly universe is perhaps causing one of the biggest old school memes to come from iCarly, the shirtless Gibby with a banana meme. All you have to do is search Gibby on Google Images and you will see it. They even sell pillow covers with this banana Gibby. Anyways, I think it's great that they're bringing back one of the few girls that Freddy went on a date with in the original and the chance is minuscule but could this be Freddy's second wife that he divorced? No, I, I can't believe I even went there, but we will see. Speaking of ex-wives, I was delighted to find out that they're going to bring back Gwen, one of Freddy's ex-wives. She's not from the original, but she was a great character in the first season of the revival. She had interesting interactions with Carly, Freddy, and Millicent, and it's going to be great to see her reaction to Carly and Freddy being together and how the parenting dynamic will change when it comes to Millicent. Before I get into our last, bigger, original character that's coming back this season, I can also mention Toby coming back. There isn't much to say about him other than the fact that he was friends with Freddy for his train club. Perhaps this ties in somehow with the school episode as well, thought it was worth mentioning. But now, lastly, let's talk about Rip Off Rodney returning. There were some recurring characters from season 1 which never made it past season 1. Jeremy and Rip Off Rodney are fantastic examples, and on the contrary, Gibby was one that shined brighter and became main cast eventually. Now, Rip Off Rodney is no big character, but damn, all those years later you still recognize the name when you hear it, Rip Off Rodney. Rip Off Rodney would be Ridgeway's go-to guy if you needed to buy something, and as the nickname suggests, he would charge a premium. Now, a young hustler like that is surely going places in life, and I can't wait to see how they work him into the story. I feel that Ripoff Rodney was a wasted opportunity in the original. He would have been a great bit to have over the seasons at Ridgeway High, and iCarly was missing a bushy-haired kid compared to some of the other Dan Schneider shows, but anyway, now we'll see the revival continue his story. Very exciting. Now, there are definitely some guest stars yet to come in Season 3 which I haven't mentioned in this video, but we've covered the biggest ones, and I'm sure the writers have a surprise or two waiting for us as the season progresses, and you never quite know who might show up. That's it for today's video on the Third Wind channel. I hope you enjoyed the little preview on who we will be meeting in Season 3 as much as I did. Let me know in the comments which of the mentioned returning characters you are most excited for, and otherwise, Please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.